the great I am prophecy and fulfillment. The Bible is replete with prophecies that point to the coming of the Messiah, unveiling the divine identity of the Savior and their subsequent fulfillment. One of the profound prophecies is found in Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15, where God reveals himself to Moses as the I am and declares his eternal and unchanging nature. This prophecy reaches its fulfillment in the New Testament, as revealed in John 4 verse 26 and John 8 verse 58, where Jesus Christ, the long-awaited Messiah, explicitly identifies himself with the divine title, I am. The parallel between these two passages illuminates the significance of Jesus as the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy, establishing his divine nature and eternal existence as the great. I am. Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15 The Prophecy In the book of Exodus, God appears to Moses in the burning bush, commissioning him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. When Moses asks God his name, God replies in Exodus 3 verse 14, I am who I am. He further instructs Moses to tell the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. In this prophecy, God reveals himself as the self-existent, eternal, and unchanging one. The name, I am, signifies his eternal nature, without beginning or end, and establishes his divine authority over all creation. John 4 verse 26, 858 The Fulfillment In the New Testament book of John, the fulfillment of Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15 is unfolded through the words of Jesus Christ himself. In John 4 verse 26, during his conversation with the Samaritan woman at the well, Jesus explicitly identifies himself as the Messiah the great. I am. John 4 verse 26. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Moreover, in John 8 verse 58, Jesus proclaims his eternal existence, using the divine title, I am, in reference to himself. John 8 verse 58. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. In these fulfillments, Jesus boldly proclaims his divine identity and eternal existence unmistakably affirming that he is the great, I am, who was present before Abraham and is the self-existent one. Teachings and Day-to-Day Applications The prophecy in Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15 and its fulfillment in John 4 verse 26 and 858 carry profound teachings and applications for believers. The eternal nature of Jesus, the fulfillment underscores the eternal existence of Jesus Christ as the great, I am who transcends time and space. The divinity of Jesus. The fulfillment establishes Jesus' divine nature, confirming that he is God incarnate, the second person of the Trinity. The unchanging character of God. The prophecy and fulfillment emphasize the unchanging nature of God, who remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. The authority of Jesus. The fulfillment highlights Jesus' authority over all creation, as the great, I am who has power and dominion over everything. Salvation through believing in Jesus. The fulfillment encourages believers to place their faith in Jesus as the eternal, self-existent Savior who offers salvation and eternal life. In day-to-day life, the understanding of this prophecy and its fulfillment deepens believers' appreciation for the divine nature of Jesus Christ. It motivates us to worship Him as the Great. I am recognizing his eternal existence and divine authority over our lives. Moreover, it inspires us to share the message of Jesus' divinity and redemptive work with others, that they too may come to believe in the eternal and self-existent Savior. Conclusion The prophecy in Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15, unveiling the divine identity of God as the Great, I am, finds its profound fulfillment in the New Testament as revealed in John 4 verse 26 and John 8 verse 58, where Jesus Christ boldly proclaims himself as the great. I am. This remarkable fulfillment establishes Jesus' eternal nature, divine identity, and authority as the self-existent one who offers salvation and eternal life to all who believe in him. As believers, we rejoice in the fulfillment of this prophecy, finding hope, assurance, and worship in Jesus Christ, the great. I am. May we continually embrace his divinity, entrust our lives to his unchanging character, and proclaim the message of the eternal and self-existent Savior to the world.